Good evening, everyone. And certainly, we are certainly super excited, as always, to be able to come to you at a night of training, a night of development, um, with one goal in mind, and that is to help you win. Because what we understand is WWW, winning with Wakana, and all we do is win. And so every time we come to provide various trainings and things of that nature, it is designed to help you win. It is designed to help you become more efficient, more effective in, grow, in building and growing your business. So tonight, um, I'm going to take the next uh, 10, 12 minutes or so as, uh, and to lead a conversation by, of course, y'all know that our midwife may jump in at any time and we want her to because every time she talk, we all get smarter. And so as a result, um, we're going to talk tonight about a powerful tool, a powerful tool to help you to gain new customers. That's what we want to do. And this, is, this tool is so powerful, um, but yet it is so simple. And what I found that when you utilize this particular tool, it literally sets, up, um, sets you up for expo exponential growth in your business. And that tool that we're going to talk about tonight is the tool of sampling, the tool of sampling. We kind of hit on this a lot um, in our Sunday night training with our massive action, but we wanted to make certain that we gave those of you that are new coming into the business, those of you that's looking to watch this, hit the reset button on your business, those of you that's looking to accelerate your business, we wanted to give you this one little tool, this one tool really simple that if you begin to work this tool, you'll begin to see that your customer numbers is going to increase exponentially. They are going up. Now, let's talk about sampling. What is sampling? You hear me talk about every time we talk about uh, a full crown jewel dispensary, every time we talk about getting a starter pack, we talk about retail products. And when we talk about the retail products, I always say that you have those products to do three things. Number one, to use. Number two, to sell. And number three, to sample. What does, what does sampling mean? Sampling means you take a portion, not the whole thing. You take a portion of whatever it is, and specifically the pain cream. You take a portion, let's say of, uh, you give a gummy or maybe two gummies away, and you're sampling it. You're letting them sample it. And the reason why we, we hone in on pain cream and the gummies is because we want products that has fast action. We want to give products that people have the potential to experience an immediate result. What does that look like? So if you're walking around, somebody got pain. I always, always have pain cream in my car. Because no matter, I, have, I got a sample bottle, and then I got a bottle to say, run me that money. And so, because the reality of the situation is, when you have pain cream, when you have pain cream in your car, and somebody has pain, you offer them an opportunity to rub it in, in wherever that spot is, you give it a few moments, or you say, I'm going to call you back and check on you later. And most times, they'll call you back to let you know, I just want to tell you, that pain gone. I had someone where I had him rub it on his foot, on the heel of his foot, and he forgot that he had pain the next day. He forgot that he had pain. So what did he want to do? He wanted that pain cream. That's what you want to do. You find somebody that does not, that's having trouble sleeping, right? You take the power gum and you give them a sample of the power gum. Don't be stingy. Look at the sample as a seed. And you sow that seed to that individual, seed of a good night's sleep. They're going to wake up and they're going to want to buy it. And this is what this sampling piece is all about. I want to give you a, I want to give you a statistic. There was a survey that went out. And when the survey went out, it asked um, really questions. It said, according to those that interviewed, the number one way to connect with individuals in various markets is samples when you're able to place a product directly into the hands of a potential customer, um, it is said that 52, watch this, 52%, y'all hear that? 52% of women make a decision on what product they're going to buy or utilize based on samples. And the truth of the matter is 
it works. When before COVID hit and you went into the Sam's Club and you walked through the aisles, what did you have? You had people there representing saying, take a sample. And guess what happens? If you take the sample and you like it, they're going to tell you that it's on sale. And then most likely you're going to buy it. So I want you to understand that when you are sampling, when you are giving out a free sample, literally what you're doing is positioning yourself for a new customer. And the more samples you give out, the more new people that you connect with, the more new customers you're going to receive. Um, does, does this make sense to you? So we, we want you to not be afraid to sample the product. So that means you, you take, um, you may take, go buy yourself a little bitty baggies. And I'm certain as we keep talking about sampling, we're going to come up with um, sample packs that you could actually purchase to give away. Y'all hear that? We'll come up with some sample packs that you could purchase to give away. So you may and so, you, but for right now, you can put two gummies in a small little baggie or something along those lines and give it to that person. If you know a brother, um, you, a brother that want to win the fight tonight, what you do is you give him King of Jungle and you say, hey, this, that KOJ is going to change your name after tonight. You give him to him, you give him the sample and he going to go home, he going to start a fight with his significant other. And then as long as he win that fight, as long as he win that fight, he going to call you and say, hey, can I get some of what you was given? This is how sampling works. So if I could help, if I could encourage any of you uh, to literally begin to identify those products that have the immediate results, um, like the pain cream, like the KOJ, like the, um, uh, the, the gummies, the power gummies, like now the Delta 8s. All of those products are products that are great products for sampling that will help to position you for new customers. Now, guess what? Once they get on, once they start buying the product that they sampled, they're going to want to experience um, or sample other products by which they're willing to pay for. Does that make sense to you? So they bought the KOJ because they wanted to fight that night. And all of a sudden, when, when she used to call him Jim, now she called him Big Jim. So they went and got the KOJ. But now we got the lube. So let me get the G spot. I want to buy that and see how that's going to work. And now all of a sudden, what started out as buying product that you sample, now is beginning to buy more and more product. Why? Because they're becoming familiar with the product, comfortable with the product, and now they want to taste and see what other products can do for them. Phyllis, I saw, it looked like you got something smart you want to say. You good? <laughs> no, that's it. Yeah. I'm just listening. <laughs> so that's, no, I'm good. okay, cool. So that's the real um, power in, in, in sampling. The other thing that sampling will do for you is it'll help you to also understand what products um, based on your market, the people that's in your sphere of influence, is more beneficial for like so for example um if you have people that's dealing with arthritis pain you get service in an older population all of this sampling will begin to help them now here's what else you could do once you see that it's working for one customer that customer can tell a friend for another you, you see what i'm saying and they may even share the sample i had that happen i was at a repast today and one of um, a good friend of mine, his nephew, I mean, his son said to me, I called him nephew, he said, uh, um, what, what happened to that cream that, that you gave my dad? And, and I said, I gave it to your dad. Well, it's back. And, and he said, he don't need it no more. And he said, but my grandma do. How can I get it? Y'all see that? I gave it to his dad, sampled it with his dad. It worked for his father. And because he saw it work for his father, he says, I want to see if it can work for my grandmother. And, and so now that created another opportunity for a sale. So this is why sampling is so important. Um, so everybody, here's the call of action. Here's the call of action. What I want you to do this week, over the next seven days, I want you to give away 10 samples of something. Give away 10 samples of something but i want you to give it away to 10 people 
that you have not necessarily connected with before. I want, I want 10 new exposures, but instead of just exposing them to the company, I want you to expose them to the product with a sample. All right? Now, how do you know who to give the sample to? That goes back to that teaching we were doing for, we, we spent a lot of time on that teaching on, con, on um, consultative selling, consultative selling. So now you're selling based on information you're receiving, asking the right questions, things of that nature. So, so that's what I want you to do. That is the call to action. And I assure you, if you, if you make that decision to begin to sample, you're going to see your CV numbers and your customers increase. Any questions before I turn it over to Ms. Phyllis for the second part of this training? Any questions, any comments? How many samples do you suggest giving a business owner? I would actually give a business owner, if you're trying to work and get the product in their business, I just give it to the business owner. Let the business owner taste and see that what kind of is good. And then when they taste and see that it's good for them, then they make the conscious decision to bring it into their business. And, and, and get then I would now then sell them a full crown dispensary. And when I sell them a full crown dispensary, they can use some of the product in their dispensary to begin to sample as well. All right. For the pain cream, which one is preferred or does it matter? I always, lately I've been um, pushing the extreme pain relief. Um, that's what I push. Um, I don't know that it matters. I think, I know that it all works. I've seen that the, our regular work I've seen the roll on. I've heard that that work. I haven't used it personally, that personally for myself, but I've seen that I've heard that that works. So I use the extreme pain relief. That's pretty much what I sample. Any other questions? All right. Well, thank you all so much. I got to go and speak in Orlando, but I got Miss Phyllis is about to take it from here. Thank you all. Love y'all. Thank you, Coach Dan. Thank you. Uh, make us proud when you speak in Orlando. Absolutely. I'm doing <laughs> it right here from Chicago. How beautiful. All right. That's the best way. Well, not the best way. I'm ready to travel. I know everybody is ready to travel, but we got to be safe. So, guys, um, we thank Coach Dan. Again, you know I'm a sampling queen. I've seen companies blow up with samples. Uh, I've been out today. I was able to sample two people. I know Mooney over there has been sampling uh, because it gets results. And when I sample, I want to give somebody something that is going to get quick results because I want to call them the next day. I don't want it, you know, and you know with our products, what gets you those quick results is our extreme pain cream at our gummies. And, and, and you know, if you tell them to take a gummy at night, you already know they're going to have a great night's sleep. And so uh, when you sample, it's important. I say this again, and I say it because we continuously have new people joining us every time. We have seasoned people joining us every time. And you just got to say the same thing so you get it. So when you give out your product that costs you money, you do not want to give that product out without getting a response. You also don't want to give a person a ton of product. You want a person to experience it. You are in business, so you want them to try the product. You're going to call them back and find out what is the best. Even more so, you know, I would love to sample all the product line, but once you get a great result, then they're more open, they're more willing to go and trust you. It's all about building that trust more so than them getting all the, ex the results from all the different samples. You want to build a trust with them, a relationship with them. And you know, if you give them a, a gummy and you're giving them pain cream, they're gonna get results. So um, I don't want you out there giving away your profits. And another way, and I'll get to that in a minute. So how do you finance your marketing? We have an excellent way for you to do that. As you grow up, go up and you do CV. You get free product if you hit different uh, 
ranks in the CV. So if you're saying being a business person because this is your business, I'm going to finance my sampling because I am going to definitely, I am going to definitely hit 500 CV a month, a thousand CV, because then I'm going to take that product and go and sample it to build my business. Okay, that's a real business person. So I want to talk to every person that's on the on here. I want to talk to our new people. I want to talk to our in between on their way to leadership, and I want to talk to our seasoned people. For the new people that come into the business, you need to let them know what you're looking for them to do is to find prospects so they can start with their warm market, their family, their friends, their business partners, anybody that they pay. There is a memory jogger of just everybody, the postman, the uh, doorman, the person I go to church with, the person I am at the gym with. You know, all of those people, those are people that you know. And so they might not be somebody you talk to every day, but you know. And so, and if you spend money with somebody, hairstylists, uh, manicures, barber, cleaners, uh, restauranteurs that you frequent, bars, places that you spend money, those people definitely need to support you. So those are all people you can share your business with. How do the new people share? But you know, you don't want to get a new person intimidated thinking they got to know everything there is to know about Wakana. But you got three videos. You share the videos. You follow up. You ask, what did you like best? They tell you what they like best. You either guide them to the next event, which is a webinar, a Zoom. You take them there. This is all easy because what a person is really looking at when they are you're presenting your business to them is can i do this and how simple it is is it just going to be another job but most people you know can share three videos to tell people about a webinar a zoom call or any of the other events that we have in your your duty as a new person is to use your tools what are your tools your samples, your brochures, your upline, your sponsor, or your business partner, whatever you want to call it, doing three ways for you. Very important. Three ways. All of those are tools. So that means a new person can get started, get their business off to a successful start by being coachable and their sponsor is Moni, you are so funny. You got to do that. You put your TV on. Okay, you got to do that for me. Or is that a microwave? That's the old fashioned TV. Okay, so you got to listen to what they say. And by all means, why you sit down with your new person is because you want to know what they want to do and how you want to work with them. New people might come into the business and say they just want to do it as a hobby. They might just want to get the products uh, for a, a, a discounted price because they're a distributor, or they might want to change their lives. But if you never sit down and talk to them, you don't know that. So you give a person what they need. So new people, you let them know you're there to support them. They're there. Now, those of you that are sapphires and above, you are now leaders. Guys, you're leaders. So you got teams. You have a team. So now when you do grand openings, now when you do uh, your own private, yeah, your grand openings, guess what you do? You send that new person that presentation. And if they don't do anything but first introduce you, introduce you, and then they're going to give their why they joined Wakana, why they said yes to Wakana. And then they might do a testimony. That's on their first party. On their second launch party, because remember, you're getting three parties when you have your one-on-one. -on -one. So it's already on your calendar. You already know you're getting that person to the best start possible. So on that second one, you're going to say, guess what, Latrice? She's out there. She's going to do this, too. Guess what, Latrice? You're going to do part of the presentation. 
on the next launch party. And then you get some of the other team members. Now, Latrice and Julie are extraordinary. They already went out and built a team in less than two weeks. So they have assignments for everybody on that team. But once you, that's in the beginning, I'm there to help and support them. But once you're a Sapphire, now you got at least 10 people on your team, at least probably more, but at least 10. So now you start making them, asking them to step up. Because I, you know why I, I take a chance and get in front of the room? The first thing I heard in this industry, the first thing I heard was the people in the front of the room talking are the people that make the biggest check. I was like, okay, whatever I'm going to say, if I stumble, if I stutter, if I don't get it right, if I make mistakes, that's what they said. And that's what you do. And so you want to gently help your new team members, Sapphires and above, start doing this. And guess what? Ask Mooney. Now, Mooney's got a team of people independent of Mooney doing their own things. What do you call that? That means you went from independent, from dependent to independent. That means success. Somebody told me, and that means duplication. Uh, Julie told me today, it's not what you do, it's what you duplicate. I said, oh, I'm going to use that because that is good. Duplication means you can be sitting on the beach with your family, having a cocktail and having whatever food, because you know I love to eat. And in 10 countries, in 50 states, somebody is doing a launch party and you put in with them three to five years and they're doing launch parties all over the world and you get a percentage of each one. That's why you want to build a strong foundation. Now, uh, Mooney had a couple of, um, we got six minutes, Mooney. I'm going to let uh, defining moments. Kathy is on here. Now, Sapphire, I'm just going to say Ruby because every time I get ready to say, so by the time she hears Ruby, I'm going to be calling her a diamond. But She's a Ruby. <laughs> you got to, and Beverly is the diamond. So uh, you got to talk about what it is and how you got there. And Beverly is a good, I hate we have only six minutes, but Bev is going to be our featured speaker next week, getting ready to go into uh, 420 because she is our diamond and she is a mentor to all of us for being in this industry. So Bev, get ready. But Mooney, just talk about how you see your team using those systems. What's it doing for your business? Honestly, Phyllis, it's doing amazing. I love the fact that we started out with a no nobody left behind concept. Everybody wins concept. Um, and with the system that you actually gave us the system, you know, by saying, okay, first 72 hours within 72 hours, sales academy training, get that grand opening started. So lately what's been happening is I see Erica Zachary. I see so many, uh, Auntie Teresa, Mr. Ernest, everybody's now like, rah, like I, I put, I pushed a little bit. And now everybody's doing their own parties, on presentations, on meetings. And it feels so amazing because I could, I shut up. <laughs> and I could do silly stuff like I'm doing now. Like, hey, everybody, you know. <laughs> um, but it's just amazing just to see the actual duplication. And you know what? I commend everybody, the 34 people, we have four minutes that showed up. Because that's really a large part of it. You hear us, you hear Kathy, Ms. Bev, we, Sales Academy Training, we doing, we're on the TV all the time, right? It feel, it's so, or we're on the screen all the time. But it's so much room for those who are constantly showing up to hear what we're saying and, hear, and look at what we're doing and just do it. Like, don't worry about messing up. So, you pushed me, Phyllis, and I dodged for a while. I did. I intentionally, you know, dodged. But as nervous as I was when I got in front of the room, and I honestly, yes, I had to take a pre-roll because I was that nervous. I used to ferociously sweat 
but you push me out there and over and over again i messed up so many different times but now i'm, I'm still not comfortable nobody coming. is nobody it doesn't is. work like that y'all it doesn't work like that yeah. however i try my best so you can't tell if i mess up but i mess up all the time <laughs> But it's just amazing. So shout out to everybody I love. Um, and I just give a shout out to the people who are taking that extra step. We're in an awesome month, y'all. It's phenomenal sampling. Do everything you can do to get in front of the room and create your story. And also, let me tell you something. And my clock has not moved. And I know you've been talking a minute, but let me tell you this. Um, you know, we got in the new crown jewels, it's not all the way, but in the new crown jewel packages, y'all got gummy samples all packaged up. Now, you know, I'm going to do what I need to do until we get to, as the company gets to that point. We have things that are staged, but if you know something's work, I'm going to go out there and get these uh things and i'm gonna make my own samples but guess what's in the new crown jewels they have samples one little gummy and they have the flight they have koj they have um uh the power they have all of our gummies as samples that come so you know when a person decides that they are saying they're going to get in the business and they want a stimulus or a millennial you need that three-way guys because your business partner is going to talk to them to go up if you're going in the business and if money is not the issue if you just want to try something go all in go hard get that full crown jewel because now you have product to sample to use and to sell and that's going to get your business off to the fastest start possible so we'll be back here same time uh, next week 